Welcome to our course on CloudWatch. My name is Michael Bryant, and I'll be your instructor. Anytime you deploy an instance database or storage asset within Amazon Web Services, basic monitoring is running by default. Basic monitoring is already enabled automatically for all Amazon EC2 instances, and you can easily access these metrics by either the Amazon EC2 tab or via CloudWatch in the Amazon Management Console. More advanced users can use the Amazon CloudWatch API from a terminal session. In this demonstration, we're going to quickly launch an EC2 instance. Note that we will be using a T2 micro instance, which is part of the free tier. We've now logged in to the Amazon Web Services console. We'll select EC2 and we'll launch an instance. We'll launch a T2 micro running Amazon's Linux AMI. If you're new here, you will not have a key pair and you should create and download the key pair. Go ahead and launch the instance and we'll come back when it's running. Welcome back. Our instance is now running. We've launched a T2 micro running the Amazon Linux AMI in the Northern California region, also known as US West 1. You'll notice that under the monitoring tab, CloudWatch is automatically running. However, this is basic monitoring. You will see that we are provided information in basic monitoring, including CPU utilization, disk reads, disk operations, disk writes, disk write operations, network in, network out, network packets in, network packets out, status check of any failed, status check of any failed instance, status check failed system, CPU credit usage, and CPU credit balance. While this is a lot of metrics, you may have noticed this doesn't provide us information about the size of the disk or the remaining space. This is a serious issue for many people and many organizations. You have to be able to monitor your disks. You may also notice that we don't know how much memory the system is utilizing of the available on our instance. We'll address all these issues further in this course.